All right, guys, welcome back to another Warzone video. Today, we're going to be covering the nerfed M16. And I have a very good class up after it's nerfed, so it's very updated here. Now, using this M16, and basically all they have done is they increased the bursts in between bursts. So you'll definitely know that they definitely nerfed the fire rate on it, so it's a lot slower. And as well, they nerfed the neck damage. It used to be 1.8, now it's just 1.1. So they did definitely touch a lot of bit of stuff on it, but it's still overpowered, which you'll see in today's video. Very high powered, very strong still, very fast killing. So if you guys love the best class setups and the craziest gameplays here on Warzone, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And as well, guys, turn on the post notifications. And if we can, let's see if we can get 300 likes on today's video. Now let's get straight up into the class setup. Alright, so for my M16 class setup, what I got going on for attachment number one is going to be the agency suppressor. Now, this is going to help with sound suppression where our, we're more quiet. We're not going to show up on the radar, which is very helpful. The vertical recoil control is going to help us with having our shots more accurate. So, the more accurate we are, the less bullets we got to use. So, we're not going to run out of bullets and we're going to be able to get faster kills. The second thing you hear is the bullet velocity. This is going to help our bullets travel faster and air to hit our targets faster. And the final thing here is the effective damage at range, which is going to help our bullets be way more stronger at a longer distance, which is very helpful. Now, going into our second part of our class up here is going to be the titanium barrel. Now, this is going to help with fire rate. So this is going to help us shoot faster, which is basically cuts out the nerf of the, uh, the fire rate of the M16, which was basically nerfed as it was. So this can be very helpful to get more kills because you're able to shoot faster, which is very good. For the optic now this is very tricky and most of the time you know this is more personal preference here but i'm gonna be throwing on the axle arms three times we get a better zoom in we can see more clear which is very helpful i like to throw this on for you know you know you can use this up close medium range or as well long distance so this is very up to you you know i know people use the susat multi-zoom I've seen even people use the Royal and Cross four times, but honestly, the Axle Arm three times is by far the best option for the M16. Now, going on to the under barrel here, we're going to be adding on the Field Agent Grip for better horizontal recoil control and as well vertical recoil control. So we're getting full control of our weapon, which is going to help us have even more of a better accurate shot, which is very helpful. And as well, guys, for the final attachment, I'm going to be adding on the 60 round fast mag. Now, I have this on just because I can have more shots in my magazine where I don't have to reload as much. But if I do end up, you know, need to reload, we have a reload quickness buff on this magazine, which is very helpful to, you know, reload quick and get back into the gunfight. Now, this is my M16 build. I hope you enjoy it. And if you get any crazy gameplay, let me know in the comment section. But that's going to wrap it up, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch y'all later. Peace out. Oh my god, forever. Well done. Sort them out or capture the objective. You gave them your support. Stand by for redeployment.
Get some recon up. UAV entering the AO. UAV is RTB for resupply. Requesting recon on my position. UAV entering the AO. Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. RTB for re- Enemy UAV overhead.
inbound. I'm good. Be a forty, twenty six, twenty eight left. Area recon coming up. UAV entering the AO. No! Uh, 25 remaining. 28, bro. 